Look what I got today. It's the socks in progress from my Target in Australia. Came airmail. I gotta open up and see how much progress she made so I know how much I have to knit. It's a half a sock. It's a really pretty color. Thanks for the socks. I've marked where I am in the pattern. I use 2.5 millimeter, millimeter needles. Good luck, Catherine. The target's name is Kathy, and she's in Colorado. One sock, only halfway. But they're going to be cute. I really like this yarn. I don't think we can get this in the United States. I've never seen it. It's called Hobby Print. It's a German yarn. I guess I'm going to knit all weekend. <laughs> it took me a while to actually figure out what needle size to use because, um, not just because of the yarn, but because of how far Catherine had already gotten on the sock. I had to go down an entire needle size. She was using a 2.5 millimeter. I had to go all the way down to a 2.0 because she's a much tighter knitter than I am. I finished the heel flap, uh, turned the heel, and started the gusset, and I'm about halfway through the gusset at this point. Although the sock yarn looks really cool when it's knitted up, it's kind of hard to to uh, to knit it because the color sequences are so short. It's hard to tell whether I'm on the right row or or whether I've picked up the wrong the wrong uh, thread or, or or loop and so forth. But uh, I really need to be in good lighting to to do this. My original target was Catherine in Australia. I finished her socks and sent them to her, killing her. Her target was Kathy in Colorado. She sent me Kathy's socks. So now Kathy in Colorado is my new target. Meanwhile, Kat from California was my assassin who was knitting socks for me. She was killed and she sent the socks she was working on to Kathy in Arizona. Now Cappy is trying to finish my socks before I finish the socks for Kathy in Colorado. On the train this morning, I was frustrated trying to get the same gauge that Catherine from Australia did. This sock is knit really tight. On top of that, the color of the yarn is really close to the color of the Knit Picks Harmony needles. I decided to switch to metal needles so I could see the stitches better and make my stitches a bit tighter. I managed to knit a few inches of the foot. I'm hoping I can go a little bit faster now, but I don't know. I still got a long way to go. This came for you today. Oh no! These are gorgeous. I've been killed by some pretty darn beautiful socks. The yarn is really, really soft. It's great. Should I try them on? In a few months, we'll be celebrating our second anniversary. Can you believe we've been doing Lesson Together for almost two years? One of the things we're trying to do with the show is make it more timely and get shows out faster. Eric's editing system is getting on in age and it's really slowing us down. It just can't keep up with all the video rendering needed for the show, especially since we moved the website to Flash. Other parts of the editing system, like the hard drive RAID, are even older. You may remember the RAID went down at the end of last year and it took us a while to repair it and get it running again. We're reaching out to you, our loyal fans, to help us out. We need to raise $8,869 U.S. dollars for the new computer. We also need a few other things for the system, but since everything is so expensive, we've decided to just start with the core, which is the computer. 
We realize it's a lot of money, but we're not asking for big donations. We'd rather get small donations from a lot of people. Can you help out? If you can, just go to our website, lessontogether.com, and click on the Chip In Donation button. It keeps track of how much is donated toward our goal. Any size donation is appreciated. If you can't donate right now, consider putting our campaign widget on your blog or website to help spread the word. That will be a tremendous help, too. Just click the Copy tab on the bottom of the Chip In button. Click Copy to copy the embed code to your clipboard, and then paste that into a blog post or the sidebar of your blog. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you next time. 